Thanks for logging on to the podcast for the week of Monday, March 16th through Friday the 20th. Hello, I'm Mr. Andrews, and here's what's happening on our team this week. Now, the podcast is being recorded on Saturday, and it's with the full assumption that our school week is going to be going as normal as possible Monday through Friday. And so with that as the assumption, here's what's happening in our classroom. During the ELA portion of the day, we're reading a brand new passage called out of the burning darkness. Now this is a story about a terrible coal mining disaster that happened nearly a century ago in the coal mines of southern Illinois. We're going to be identifying the main idea about the details of the lives of children who worked in these very dangerous situations. We're also going to be talking about the author's craft, cause and effect, and how the author uses text features to be able to make this story much richer and fuller. We'll have an assessment by the end of the week. In social studies, our goal is to continue to become more familiar with our nation's founders and its leaders. Now, the goal was to be closer to uh, our Washington DC trip at this uh, coming week, and uh, that was where it was gonna be steered and geared. Now that that trip is uh, canceled, uh, we're gonna be aiming more towards the Civil War period of our nation's history. Uh, that is the fourth quarter social studies and ELA goals. And so we'll be integrating those uh, starting this coming week and on into the fourth nine weeks. Students uh, should continue to read 30 minutes each night. Uh, that is the full expectation. If our school schedule is to change, they should have two self-selected readers at home. They took home this past Friday and uh, students should read the 30 minutes as they would at school and then 30 minutes in the evening for a total of 60 minutes. We need to continue uh, to be strengthening our reading endurance. In science, in my homeroom, we are so close to our Newton's second and third laws of motion assessment. We're going to review for about three days, and then on the fourth day that we're back at school, we will have that assessment. Uh, I do have some video links that we're going to be using in class. If our school schedule changes, I will send you those links to watch at home. And uh, two of them I know for a fact are gonna be YouTube videos. So just be aware of that parents that uh, I will have some things that I can send home that way. And science is a good way to measure and review. Uh, I did mention that we are very close to our next science assessment. This past week, we did spend some time sending bottle rockets uh, up and we were identifying Newton's first second and third laws of motion. See if uh, your student can identify Newton's first, second, and third laws as we watch a few of these right now.
So how did your student do? Uh, were they able to identify the first, second, and third laws of motion? I certainly hope so. We're going to be blasting off about six more of those this coming week, and I look forward to the opportunity to be able to do that. Let's all have a great week together.